crew member has a history of seizures and takes daily medication. Phenytoin, or Dilantin, is one of numerous medications available for the control of seizures. Oh no, I'm out. The crew member has neglected to bring an adequate supply of medication for the duration of the voyage. Self-conscious, he declines to reveal this fact to his supervisors and returns to work. The crew member is experiencing a generalized seizure. He may have injured himself during the fall. During the episode, the crew member is oblivious to his environment. Hey, hey, give me a hand. Down. The immediate efforts of the caregiver should be focused on protecting him from further injury. Rolling the crew member on his side helps prevent aspiration of vomit. His flailing arms and legs should not be restrained, but can be shielded from contact with objects that could hurt him. Never attempt to insert your fingers or a bite block into the victim's mouth during a seizure. Okay, I'm going to need a, a seat collar and some oxygen in here, please. Once seizure activity has stopped, however, an adult oral airway or jaw thrust maneuver may be necessary right, for you. restoration of breathing. Back down. One, two, the crew three. member's body is carefully rolled as a unit to avoid damage to the spine. The medical officer checks the ABCs to ensure that the crew member is breathing and has a pulse. He examines the crew member's head for signs of injury. Yeah, would you call a bridge and uh, have him get a hold of the doctor, please? He checks the mouth to see if the crew member has bitten his tongue or cheek. Hey, okay, keep a hold of the head, please. Because the crew member has fallen and may have been injured, the medical officer quickly performs a preliminary physical examination. He applies a cervical collar to stabilize the crew member's neck and prevent further damage in the event of a fracture to the vertebrae. Ron, you all right? The crew member is experiencing a deep, sleep-like state, which is typically followed by confusion and a gradual return to normal alertness. Open your eyes, Ron. Open your eyes. Don't move your neck yet. There you go. Do you know where you're at? After the seizure, the crew member is characteristically unresponsive and has no recollection of the event. Does your neck hurt? Don't shake your head. Just answer me. Does your neck hurt? No. No? Ron, I'm going to give you some oxygen now, all right? Don't move Administration of supplemental oxygen may be beneficial, especially if the crew member has experienced a prolonged seizure during which his breathing has been compromised. Here, the medical officer uses a non-rebreather mask to supply 100% oxygen at a flow rate set to 12 to 15 liters per minute. What's my name? Terry. What's your name? Uh, Are you on any medications? Assess the crew member's level of alertness. The Latin, but I ran out. You ran out? We have some of that. You should let me know. Well, so I, you're I so, ran out before, but I, it never will hurt me. So you're epileptic, I had a seizure. Like most seizures, right. this episode has endured for no more than a few minutes and can be managed successfully on board the vessel.